All right, I wanted to make another video on getting XP in Ventures. This might be a little late because this season started about 10 days ago, but I still want to make the video because I know a lot of new Save the World players just started watching my videos and might not really know the best ways to level up in Ventures. This is not necessarily a Ventures guide on how to do individual missions because Ventures is very similar to the regular game in the sense that it's the same missions overall, but there's a twist. This season is currently the Hexylvania Zone. I want this video to work for all seasons and the tips I'm going to be showing you do exactly that. If you want specific loadouts for the individual season that you're on right now, I'm going to link the season seven video down below. But if you're watching in the future, uh, I probably have a video on whatever zone is out because they've started looping at this point and they have tweaked some modifiers in the past, but I do make ventures loadouts just about every season. So definitely stay tuned for those. Uh, but for this season, we have short range where enemies take more damage at close range and there is more to it than that. I'm a little disappointed with how little they explained here because they don't really they don't really make it clear that when you're close to the enemy you actually do more damage with abilities and traps do about the same damage and it's it's complicated the ventures loadouts video down below explains this season in specific but for getting XP, I want to talk about the best tactics. Now, if you're starting from scratch, you will have the power level 5 and 15 zones. I highly recommend going straight to 15, even at level like 0 or 1, wherever you start. Uh, level 5 is already too low. You can do the 15 zones with relative ease, and I want to stress the, uh, the best ideas for that. So, starting here, always queue the highest level missions. That can get tricky, so I'm actually going to perform a, uh, a little bit of a Discord plug here. So if you guys haven't joined the Minerva Discord already, I highly recommend it. A lot of nice people are in here. If you ever find people that aren't nice, tag the mods. We're very cool about that. But there are a lot of people in the Ventures channel in our Discord. You can absolutely just squad up and try to find people. Nobody's obligated to help you, but if you're a nice enough person and you play nice with others and you are cooperative and you get along well, you can absolutely get a ton of help because all of these missions and everything I'm going to say going forward is improved with a squad of people to help you because what I'm going to recommend is not only should you queue the highest power level missions, for example, in my case, I should be queuing 82s and doing the alerts. You see how I'm getting an extra 8,350 XP? That matters. You should knock out all of these alerts. Do not repeat individual missions unless you absolutely have to. What you should do is knock out, in my case, all of the 82s or whatever zone you can reach. And then when I'm done with all the 82s, you can do the zone below you. These are expert tips, by the way, from people who maxed out in like three days. I'm regurgitating what I've heard. You can run all of the alerts for the 70 zones for the 6900 or whatever's under your zone. You, you catch my drift. But going two zones down is not important. Uh, you should always do the red ones. If you're in a lobby, it's going to look a little different. But you should always do these and when you queue the single player missions you can see that if you go to the mission info there isn't any four player uh, some of these missions will be four players these will already give you just the most xp that they can um, and you can see they also have the two times venture xp definitely knock out the four players as fast as possible and you should do the uh, the single player missions and max it all the way to full. I don't know how much of this gameplay I've shown where I went around collecting the blue glow, but it is 12 blue glow. That's your magic number. 12 blue glow to max the mission difficulty all the way. If you are running in super high level zones and you're getting a carry, maybe you can't quite do those missions, but... I highly recommend going for it because you can see in my video example here, I actually do get more XP. It even shows you exactly how much. That's only in an 82 zone. In fact, when you're in like the 140 zones, you'll get 10,000 extra XP per run. And it might take you a little bit of time to get the blue glow, but it is absolutely time efficient to do that. And it's super worth it to take care of that. Editing Beast here wants to add that if you are doing a crazy binge running as many missions as you can, and you've done all the highest missions you can and the zone below it, that is when you start repeating the 4x missions. Uh, these will be the biggest bang for your buck because they give you that double XP. Now, I did say earlier that you should always knock out the four players right away, but there is a caveat to that. There's one little exception to that rule, and that is Ventures Challenges. You should be doing these as efficiently as possible. If it tells you to use a Sword Axe or Scythe, you should be using a Sword Axe or Scythe. You can just tag an enemy, so like if you hit an enemy with a pistol and a teammate kills it, that should count. Uh, I think the only one that I saw as an exception was the headshot one, where you need to hit them in the headshot for the final kill. Kind of annoying, but easy enough to work with if you go into like, you know, shoot the baby zombies. Even if you're in a really overpowered zone getting carried, 
Hopefully the baby zombies should still be in reach, and if you've been playing with a carry for long enough, your power level should catch up to a point where you aren't, you know, totally useless. Again, if you want loadouts, link below. That is not what this video is about, but what I'm saying is always do these challenges. I know Archer, who finished Ventures all the way, level 50 in like a few days, he's, uh, he's usually in my lobby, I can't show him, but he actually forgot to do the uh, melee, the very first weapons challenge. And at the end of these, you get XP and, uh, well, you get XP throughout, but you get Superchargers, Core Reaper, if you want a video on all the Ventures rewards, link down below that gets into it that has the whole spreadsheet and I talk about it a little bit there but yeah definitely be doing these along the way and the caveat I mentioned was this mission right here I'm stuck on it because there are no 46 plus build radar grids today kind of annoying I, shrug can't do anything about that but you should always knock these out you see we did a resupply today not usually my go-to mission personally I don't enjoy resupply but it's a quick 10 minute mission and it's not too bad to just knock that out especially if I have a quest telling me to do it if it tells you to run ride the lightning go to ride the lightning you get the point so always be doing these quests uh you know prioritize the enemies you're supposed to kill destroy the things it tells you on the map use the weapons it tells you to run the missions do the challenges all of this will give you extra xp and you get superchargers at the end which if you look at the Ventures rewards, and you probably already know them if you're watching this video. Is that not why we're here? End game core reperk and superchargers? Like that's that's kind of like the unique thing that Ventures offers, right? The vouchers are all taken care of by the time you're level 20. So continuing past that is for all the stuff that comes out of those challenges. And that's literally it. It's really straightforward. My previous video on this topic was quite long because I went into my whole opinion about Ventures. I'll link it down below if you guys want to hear that. It's kind of a rant, but it's all old news, and I just wanted to make a more focused video on how to get XP in Ventures. So yeah, you know, it's a Twitch link down below. I record these during a stream sometimes, and I make the videos on stream a lot. I uh, Subscribe on YouTube if you guys want to see more of these videos. Take it easy, and uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> Do 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 do